Welcome to Walker's Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker bringing you a review of this week's stock market. On Monday, new home sales for September fell 3.5% to an annualized 959,000 units. Markets plummeted on news that U.S. coronavirus infections were hitting record highs. The Dow Industrials closed down 650 points and the Nasdaq Composite fell 1.6%. The travel industry was hit particularly hard. On Tuesday, durable goods orders for September rose 1.9%, greater than expectations, and the Case-Shiller Home Price Index for August rose one half of a percent. Consumer confidence for October fell four tenths of a point to 100.9. Markets were mixed with the Dow Industrials losing another 222 points, but the Nasdaq Composite rose six tenths of a percent. On Wednesday, the EIA Petroleum Status Report for the week ending October 23rd saw crude oil inventory increase 4.3 million barrels. Markets fell again as coronavirus infections continued to rise both in the U.S. and Europe, with various countries reinstituting targeted lockdowns. The Dow Industrials closed 943 points lower and the Nasdaq Composite slid 3.7%. On Thursday, jobless claims for the week ending October 24th saw initial claims decline 40,000 to 751,000, while GDP for the third quarter rose a record 33.1% higher than expectations. In a turbulent trading session, markets eventually rallied with the Dow Industrials gaining 139 points and the Nasdaq Composite gaining 1.6%. On Friday, personal income for September rose 9 tenths of a percent, better than expectations, and personal consumption rose 1.4 percent, also better than expectations. The PCE price index rose 2 tenths of a percent. The employment cost index for the third quarter rose a half percent. Markets opened sharply lower as the upcoming election, lack of progress with fiscal stimulus, and growing cases of coronavirus occupied investors' thoughts. This is Walker's Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.